Since the 1970s, LaRouche political action committee booths have been popping up around the country. And last Friday, there was one right here in Santa Monica. Well, the problem is economics, economics in other words. Victor Sirius has worked for the PAC since 2011. He says their main focus is the separation between commercial and investment banking. The, the number one issue is the Glass-Steagall banking law, which is um, a type of regulation that used to be um, in place to protect the commercial banking sector from Wall Street um, usurious banking policies like subprime mortgages. The views of Lyndon LaRouche cover a wide variety of topics, including economics, cultural issues, and various conspiracy theories. The LaRouche Political Action Committee's agenda includes restoring the Glass-Steagall Act and a new American system of infrastructure, as well as less common ideas like colonizing Mars and a return to what's referred to as Verdi tuning in classical music. As Donald Trump has said, um, he's promised $1 trillion in infrastructure development, and we think that's not enough. We think Glass-Steagall should be put in, and we think that a credit system, our national bank or national bank institution, should start funding major infrastructure projects like high-speed trains. Young people need to go to work um, in high-skilled, high-paying jobs. This kind of policy is what's urgently needed to address our social problems now. The committee is known for topical signs and slogans. This time it was, support Trump, stop here. The American people should rally behind Donald Trump. Which a few Santa Monicans took issue with. The American disaster, Yay! Trump. The American demagogue. And a few were interested in. The LaRouche movement has attracted devoted followers and developed a number of policy initiatives, but has also been referred to as Marxist, fascist, anti-Semitic, a fringe political cult, and a criminal enterprise. In fact, in 1988, LaRouche was convicted of conspiracy to commit mail fraud, as well as 11 counts of actual mail fraud and one count of conspiring to defraud the U.S. Internal Revenue Service. And, in 1980, a New York State Supreme Court judge ruled that it was fair comment to describe them as anti-Semites. The fight for civil rights was fought. But members of the committee will tell you their focus is on economic ideals, not social ones. The economic crisis in the country subsumes all of those issues. If, if there were people working and being productive, then I think all these other issues like immigrate, like tensions around immigration or tension around you know, transgender or, or LGBT issues. I think all those issues would go away. For the Santa Monica Mirror, this is Chella reporting.